I don't think you're right. Yeah, wicked. It's my son, Fraz. How you doing, yeah, Fraz? Are you right? Cool. So, um, Audi dealership, what are we doing here then? Notice you've got a Epsom Audi. Epsom Audi, you've got R8. Uh, the fantastic Andrew. Okay. How so, are you doing? How are you doing? You right? Yeah, not bad. Cool. Andrew was kind enough to supply me with a fantastic RS6. Okay. Which is this one just here. Mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately, it broke within 24 hours. Wow. Eng engine warning light came on and uh, it went into limp home mode. Um, these things happen, unfortunately. Mm. So it's reasonably quick to find a problem. They, they didn't spend too long finding the problem. It's only a valve, a small air valve in the engine. Uh, but they were really kind to me and uh, lent me a car in the meantime to use, which is the Audi R8. Wow, to give V10 R8, yeah. So yeah, I just about fit in it. It's a good job it's convertible because my head comes out the roof, <laughs> uh, catching flies in my teeth. But um, yeah, but so, it's really nice. So you've not really drive the RS6 then? Or? It's only done a few hundred miles, literally. Okay. Uh, I, I've hardly driven it at all. So it's actually excited me seeing it again today. Wow, um, I've got to say, this is absolutely stunning, man. So, Nardo Grey? Nardo Grey, Nardo yeah. Grey. It's already had a few titivations done by Dub Customs. Yeah. Uh, really looked after me, uh, just on the way it sits, and uh, obviously black wheels and stuff like that. And this is brand spanking new, right? Yeah. Wow. It's one of the last ones they made. Yeah. Uh, they actually cut off the uh, ordering of them only a few days after I ordered mine. I didn't realise, but... Um, yes, it's one of the last ones off the production line. Really, really pleased. So big, big plans for this car, right? Big plans, yeah. Big yeah. plans. Can't say too much, but yeah. I'm talking to people uh, in another country at the moment who are looking to uh, get it up to big power. I uh, don't think that's going to be achievable in the UK. Uh, there's, a, there's a company in Germany and they've done some pretty epic things with two or three RS6s at the moment mm. and they're streaks ahead of everybody else uh, in terms of tuning so yeah we'll have to see what, what so they're going to So a lot of plan. exciting times ahead then yeah. I think so yeah 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 mm. it's going to be like the ultimate car you know because you can get the dog in the back and everything yeah, yeah. else but what, what do you think from M5 to RS6 what's your quality, quality uh, I wouldn't yeah. recommend another upgrade upgrade it's uh you like it yeah 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 it looks better and yeah. Got the power now, we'll get four wheel drive so we can lay it down. Put it down now. So yeah, yeah it'd be good. So we're not actually gonna be driving the car today. No, we can't. It's it's not running any boost, it's in limp home mode. So uh I thought we could take the R8 out, have a bit of fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm thinking uh yeah, I can't wait. I've never uh drove I've drove the previous gen, but I've not drove one of these uh second gen ones. Yeah. Uh, I drove the last supercar I drove was the uh Lamborghini, the S V. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what it's like. Well, Epsom Audi have really, really looked after me. Um, Andrew's obviously uh, the man to talk to if mm. you want a fantastic deal. Yeah. Uh, but also the after sales care is, is second to none. So um, yeah, it's been really good. And he wants you to drive it. Yes. So I'm going to be on the insurance to drive the car today yeah, as well. We'll yeah. it all now for you and we can get that all seal sorted. Thank you, man. Wicked. Cool. All right. So should we just jump out in the car then? Why not? Yeah, cool. off Nick, me and Fraser, his son, we're going to yeah. review the car today. Uh, Nick don't know a, a lot about this car, I don't know either, I went over the spec yeah. sheet uh, last night, but yeah, we're just going to go for a chill, uh, probably a little 15, 20 minute drive. Uh, I'll try to explain a little bit about uh, what the R8 is. A couple of launches. A couple of launches, yeah. yeah. Got some nice roads around here apparently as well. So first impressions, just quickly, it's just um, unbelievable. Uh, I thought the wheel was going to be a lot heavier. I don't know what mode of quality it has. It's in dynamic, so it's probably in its most weighty setting. But yeah. the wheel is so light, very Audi. 
I don't know if you drove this or. I haven't driven it, no, but from the passenger seat, it seems just like a fat go kart and it's mad. It's, um, it's like really light. Yeah, yeah. You, get, you lose your sense of speed because yeah. where it just cuts through so the air. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're literally on the floor. But So this is the second generation Audi R8. Um, it's got a V10 engine, naturally aspirated, 5.2 litre. Yeah. Uh, it's a high revving engine, 398 foot pounds of torque. Doesn't sound like a lot. But you know, when you pair it up with a gearbox, I think it's the S Tronic 7 speed dual clutch transmission, uh, enables this car to do 60 in like 3.6 seconds, yeah. top speed of 197 miles per hour. The four wheel drive as well, it's just yeah, with just the all drive, yeah. Floor, yeah. Mid engine with the quattro, it's just unreal, like the secure yeah. feeling you get. Like right now, it's just so stuck to the ground, isn't it? And you hear it as well, it just wants to go all the time, yeah. Sounds mega this car. Wow. I oh, know it's mad. And it helps that the engine's literally like there. You probably open that. Oh my Jesus. Similar to the Lambo, you know that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't know what it is. I don't know if it's an illusion or but it, it sort of zooms in. Like as you put yeah. your foot down, you it really pulls vision. you in yeah, like yeah. it's like a video game. Yeah, it really yeah, is. I don't think it's I don't think it's just the acceleration. The whole experience wow. is just mad. Wow. Yeah, the whole experience is just mad. Like the sound is just... It's unreal, isn't it? Unreal. I'm surprised at how light this wheel feels though. I've got it in dynamic mode, but I thought that there would be a bit more weight into it. Yeah. Um, you know, so yeah, even driving now, it's, it's, it's quite comfortable. It is rigid, you can feel it a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can really feel the fact it's naturally aspirated. You yeah. try to pull off in third gear, you can feel there's no torque. Like right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really have to be in the correct gear. Be, yeah, to go, get the proper To get kick. the power down, yeah, yeah. to get the kick, yeah. Um, but it's surprising because this is a very quick car, man. Yeah, yeah, When you look yeah, at yeah. today's supercars, they're all like turbocharged, yeah, yeah, smaller yeah. engines. For, for a naturally aspirated, this yeah, is this a nut. goes, man. Oh. Uh, yeah, it makes 532 bhp. I think it makes that power at about 7800 rpm. 132,000 pounds for the Spider. Yeah, uh, that's in you know base form, no options. Uh, I think the Coupe is about 10 grand cheaper. They also do a new, uh, I think they call it the Rear Wheel Series, which is basically rear wheel drive. Only 999 of them available. <laughs> The gears change before you even press the battle, oh, look. Oh, oh. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's like, like just knows. the crispiest gear shifts I've ever felt in a car. Wow, man. Oh, God. I mean, it's like ridiculously fast, yeah. but so controlled, like, yeah. You're in control of the car. Yeah, that's what I said to my dad. It's, it seems like you don't. It's literally just a stop, start, and where you're going. It's with real management power. So obviously you have the V10 Plus. Uh, the V10 Plus. Yeah, that's uh, got like 600 bhp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that'd be quite a little bit off. Yeah, I don't know if it weighs any less. I, I think that there, that felt nice. Yeah. Felt nice, but just so controlled. Felt yeah. very Audi. I didn't think that this car was gonna have that same resemblance with the other models. Yeah, 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 it does, it does. You know what? The stability is unreal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just unreal. sticks. It's just it's so like It still feels precise yeah. at that speed. Although this is a V10, like when you're cruising around, I think it shuts off five of the cylinders. So I have noticed already, I don't know, I could be tripping out, but initially when I put my foot down, it's like the power's not there immediately. It almost kicks in just as slight as a yeah. slight delay. It does hesitate. Yeah, that's I think the cylinders yeah. waking like back It coughs up. and then it just goes yeah. for it. <laughs> so yeah guys it's revs like it revs it's very quick but yeah i think it needs more <laughs> it does yeah 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 definitely. a little bit more isn't it i think that's why they made the performance the v10 yeah uh, yeah Steering in as well. Wow. 
I'm not trying to say understeered, but didn't hang on like that. But really feel the rear tucking in. It's weird though, like five foot. I wonder what the previous gen R8 was. From what I remember, I swear I remember the old R8 being quicker. It probably yeah. weren't. You know, it is. I've drove a lot yeah, of cars, yeah, yeah. like a lot of two cars on the channel, haven't I? So I'm not sure I'm about the used to like 500 brake cars, you know. Yeah, I'm not sure about the V8, but I think the uh, the V10 is something like five. 50 or something, but the I don't know. If, yeah? yeah, I don't know if that was the performance or something. You know what? Like, even at high speed braking, it doesn't squirm, it's so yeah, it just, controlled. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So even then, you see how harshly I pressed the brake, yeah, yeah, but it yeah. stayed like tame, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Um, it's predictable. Oh, so now it's an M4S. So this is a oh, this is a this is a different mode. Look, is it? Can't you hear the exhaust? Wow, yeah. dude! Did you see the gear shift then as well? Yeah. What mode have I got it in there? Because that's I just. I don't know. Oh. I think it's just the traction's off. Wow. Wow, that's great. Okay, this is the mode, Nick. Yeah. So you, Nick, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus oh, Christ! Lord. That's different. Because it does feel like it's moving a little bit. You feel yeah, like, I, like it, yeah, it moves it. a bit, but it feels yeah. like there's a lot of manipulation, like computers are working away. Yeah, it's I not just me driving the car. It, it pushes a little bit, like as you yeah. get on it, it initially pushes, probably for safety reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if it was on my own roads, I'd be able to like have a better judgment on what it's like to handle, but yeah, it's weird. As you get into the corner, you can feel the rear like really turning in, and it's a bit not wobbly, but just something that you've got. Uh, I'd have to drive it for a while to get used to yeah, it, yeah, to trust yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but I know that this car is like you know it's it's all wheel drive, so yeah. But obviously, yeah, it's, you know it mentions the Audi mentioned the fact that. You know, 100% of the torque can go to the rear, so I don't know if that's what's happening. Yeah. Shuffling torque to all different wheels. To be fair, it might be a different setting. I mean, there's so many computers on this thing. It does, it makes his mind up all the time.
guys, I'm going to end the video there just before the battery dies. Um, Fraser, man, tell your dad thank you for yeah, yeah, letting yeah, me no take worries. the car for a spin. I also want to give a massive shout out to Epson Audi for putting me on the insurance to drive this beautiful car today. Um, any of you guys that are uh, interested in buying an Audi, I'll leave the links in the description. Uh, really good customer service. I feel I'm going to be down here more to film some more cars. Uh, definitely not going to be the last time. So yeah, as always, like, share and subscribe and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. Nice.